Hey guys, okay, today we're going to be installing this uh, universal roof vent uh, for RVs and closed trailers in my case. Just bought this one on Amazon. I think it was like uh, about a hundred bucks Canadian. Um, okay, so the reason I'm replacing mine is because uh, we had it parked in a park uh, for a couple of nights while we were at a job and some kids jumped on top and kicked the dome in. Not nice. So busted there and then I'll just take you up on top so that's what we're dealing with um, like I said it did have a dome on a nice open and closed dome and there was also a screen there um, so yeah I'm gonna start on the inside we're gonna take this torque screws out right there so I'll grab a drill for that and we'll start by removing those Okay, so I'm just gonna take out these four torque bits. They, they don't come with the vent. So you guys provide your own sort of self tappers. These ones don't really fit the, this torx bit very well. I tried like three different sizes. It's almost like it, they got paint in them or something. Weird. Oh, that one worked. Put these screws right in the garbage. Okay, so the rest we gotta do from the roof. Okay, we're up on the roof here. And it looks like this thing's just glued into place. Let's see. Oh, okay, there's a screw there. So they must not have just they must have just avoided some of the holes and just put a screw. Maybe they put two per side. Oh yeah, okay, there's one there. I'll have to grab the drill. Number two. <laughs> Peel off whatever this is. 
because I don't think it'll make a good seal to the new one, even though it is still kind of pliable. Okay, so here's the new hood. Uh, you're gonna wanna make sure, obviously, you open it to make sure you know which way is the front and back. So we're gonna put it like that, trailer's front here, so that if you were to leave it open by accident, the wind wouldn't catch it and take it off. So this one looks almost, see if the holes line up. Yeah, the holes are lining up exactly like my old one. Uh, so, but if you were doing this new, uh, you'd obviously wanna cut your hole uh, the same size as right here plus maybe like an eighth of an inch to let these little tabs all the way around to let these little tabs go in. But I got lucky here and mine fits right in. So uh, I don't have whatever sealant this is. This is. It looks like some nice stuff. It's lasted for about five years or more. Uh, I got this Supra Expert Thermoplastic Sealant, just white. It's basically like an outdoor window and door commercial grade sealant. Um, but I'm sure silicone or something like that would be just as good. So I'm gonna apply that to the seal here first. Just really go ham on it. Okay, so there we go. I'm gonna drop this in. I'm gonna use these old screws because they're actually nice and they look like they're stainless. Get them into the same holes. Okay, so I'm gonna do what they did and just smear a bunch of this around. Just use what I have left of the tube just to totally seal the heads of those screws. Oh, I need to get some more. And you guys get the idea, I'm just sort of trying to seal off the heads of those screws, similar to how they did it from the factory. Okay, so I'll just leave like that for now. I gotta go get another tube of that Supra and I'll finish the other side, but whatever, it is waterproof as it is now. So we'll go inside and put the uh, trim piece on. Okay, back on the inside. So this is the one that came with it. And this is the old one. And you'll see that the, the depth the depth of this one is a little bit bigger than this one. So when I try to put the new one up in here, you know, it sticks down like a half an inch or whatever it is. Cause it's probably, it's made to accommodate a thicker finished ceiling, right? If it was like in a nice RV or something like that. Um, I'm probably just gonna use this old one. There's actually nothing wrong with it other than I didn't like those screws, but we'll replace those. So yeah, that goes back up there and I can use the same screw holes and I don't really care what it looks like. But if you're in the same situation, you're putting a new one in your trailer, it looks to me like you can just break, break it at this line, or you could even just use like a, just like a really fine saw, like a hacksaw or something like that, and just cut that all the way around on that lip. And then that would give you the clearance you need for it to go up in there. Again, it's just a trim piece, so not too worried about it. I'll just give this one a little bit of a white and we'll put it back. And I'll use the, uh, these screws right here, I'll show you. So these are just like a self-tapping screw. And they have a hex head on them. I actually like this uh, one a little bit better than the original. The original had this like little hand crank and the mechanism wasn't really super smooth. But this one, 
It's really smooth, really smooth. Closes, you can do it like this. And what I like is uh, if you see that little V right there, sort of a little spring loaded thing, and then there's a tab on that metal arm. When it comes down, if you listen, it sort of clicks down and sort of locks in there so the wind can't kick it up. Really nice, I like this one a lot better. So if you're looking for one, this is a pretty good deal off, off of Amazon. Hangs Industries. Thanks for watching guys.